Okay, so there you have it. Um, all the cabinet work is now 100% complete. All touch-up, all dings, all gouges, everything, as much as well as as well as I can do it, as well as it needs to be. Uh, I don't think anybody would ever complain. So the only thing that really didn't turn out too well is this right here. But it, I was very limited by what I could do uh, y y because of the exposed wood. I had to paint it white, as you saw, and then put some tape over it, uh, and then cut it out around, and then paint on top of the, the tape, because otherwise uh, it just wouldn't blend at all uh, on the bare wood. I tried to make it match here with the white and the stripes and get the skin tone and everything just right. It's not perfect uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but it's better than the eyesore of having the big gouges there. This is the only thing that I'm really kind of disappointed about. But there's not much I can do about that. That's a, the best that I can possibly ac uh, accomplish in this situation. But everything else turned out fantastic. You saw the bottom with the swelling that was scraping off the art from the scraper because of the cabinet swelling. I got that touched up as best as it could be. Uh, same on this side. I'm sorry, I lost uh, some daylight here. Um, but yeah, everything turned out fantastic, as you saw. So the cabinet is now officially uh, complete, and I even got the uh, artwork package in, and I got the new marquee in. Uh, I don't even, you can't tell because of that light. Uh, there you go. As a matter of fact, you know, let me cut away here and I'll turn it on. You can see just how well this is. Uh, this is from Jeff West at uh, XL Arcade, and I will, I got all my stuff from him. All the, the control panel artwork and, the, and uh, Lexan and everything is, is in. This was part of that shipment, and in the next part I will show all that off. We'll get the control panel done, get the inside cleaned up and board mounted, and that should be the final part. So three parts on this. Uh, but let me uh, cut away, get the cabinet turned on, and I'll show you how well this marquee looks under light. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, nice. So I mentioned before that, well, maybe I didn't. This, the original marquee that was in here from the rapid fire uh, was just scotch taped all around. The retainers that normally are on top and bottom to hold the marquee to the glass uh, were missing. And I just happened to have a couple of those sitting in a drawer in my spare parts closet. So I was able to put those on there. And what those do is that keeps the, the marquee from bowing in on the sides, as I'm sure a lot of you have seen the, the uh, arcades out there that have the the uh, marquee is squished kind of because the sides are bowed in because it's missing those two retainer pieces. So I actually had those and then installed this. I probably should have shown it on camera, but I was excited to get it and throw it in to see how well it looks. But 
I mean, you can see it's just pretty much absolutely perfect. It's not washed out. It's not contrast colors aren't bad. I think this is a fantastic recreation. So many thanks to Jeff West over at XL Arcade. I'll drop his website down below in the in the description so you can check it, check out all the stuff he has to offer. And that'll finish it up for this part. Um, so next part, we'll get the control panel all done. Uh, all the stuff I need to do it is is here. So I'm going to try and tackle that in the next few days, also possibly on the weekend here coming up. So stay tuned and we'll see how it turns out. But for now, the cabinet itself is complete. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the last part and we'll see how everything turns out.